Today's A-level biology video is actually all going to be about this hormone known as melatonin, but in order to understand how it works, we just need to touch on our body clocks and how we maintain a 24 hour cycle, which obviously aligns itself with the day length. We'll start by saying that humans are adapted to live a 24 hour cycle. And the behavior that they exhibit during that 24 hours, such as sleeping when it's nighttime, being awake during the day, is known as a circadian rhythm. But how does the body know if it's night or day? Well, obviously it's your eyes which detect light. So ganglion cells within the retina of the eye send electrical impulses to the suprachiasmatic nucleus. And that's found within the hypothalamus of the brain. The reason why the SCN, the suprachiasmatic nucleus, is so important is because it controls the secretion of the hormone melatonin by the pineal gland. So let's do some highlighting. We know that we have circadian rhythms which run to a 24 hour cycle. How is this controlled? Well, it's through the retina, so the ganglion cells of the retina, which send electrical impulses to the suprachiasmatic nucleus in the hypothalamus, and this controls the pineal gland's secretion of the hormone melatonin. Now, melatonin levels increase at night and they decrease during the day. Excess melatonin is removed by the liver. Notice as well that melatonin decreases as you age, hence why your sleeping patterns get disrupted the older you get. The last thing we need to touch on is jet lag. Remember that jet lag is a disruption of your circadian rhythms when you cross several time zones. And what that really means is your inability to sleep when you travel across the other side of the world. So what are the symptoms of jet lag? Well, as you know, sleep disturbance, Coupled with that will be general tiredness, known as fatigue. Because you're tired, you'll be irritable and you may experience headaches. Now this tends to last a few days and some people choose to improve their symptoms of jet lag by taking melatonin.